the only two living Republican ex-presidents joined a growing chorus of conservatives criticizing President Trump's Charlottesville response and denouncing extremism. America must always reject racial bigotry, anti-Semitism and hatred in all forms, former Presidents George W. Bush and George H. W. Bush said in a joint statement Wednesday. In offering prayers for the Virginia city, the politicians invoked its most prominent citizen, Thomas Jefferson, quoting his words in the Declaration of Independence We are all created equal and endowed by our Creator with unalienable rights. MC3 Joshua D. Shepardu, S. Navy Media Content Service Handout up a U.S. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, responding to Trump defending Charlottesville white nationalist protesters as fine people, emphasized there are no good neo-Nazis. The Kentucky Republicans' condemnation comes amid reports an event similar to the white supremacist demonstration in Virginia is being planned in his home state to protest the removal of a pair of Confederate statues from the lawn of the former Fayette County Courthouse. Alex Wong at the images their messages of hate and bigotry are not welcome in Kentucky and should not be welcome anywhere in America, McConnell said in a statement. We can have no tolerance for an ideology of racial hatred. There are no good neo-Nazis, and those who espouse their views are not supporters of American ideals and freedom. We all have a responsibility to stand against hate and violence, wherever it raises its evil head. Lexington is among several southern cities facing backlash over decisions to remove Confederate memorials from public spaces. Thousands journeyed to Charlottesville over the weekend for the Unite the Right rally to protest on April City Council vote to take down a statue of Confederate Gen. Robert E. Lee from Emancipation Park. Ohio Gov. John Kasich Wednesday similarly condemned the violence in the Virginia city, but specifically called on his former presidential rival to take a harder stance against racism and hatred. Pablo Martinez Montsevay up it's terrible. This is terrible, he said during an appearance on NBC's Today. The President of the United States needs to condemn these kind of hate groups. Think about what you have seen. He continued on to say there is no moral equivalency between the hate groups and anybody else. John Manchillo, anybody else is not the issue, Kasich said. U.S. Senator Lindsey Graham in a statement Wednesday echoed Kasich and promised to fight back against the idea that the party of Lincoln has a welcome mat out for the David Dukes of the world. Through his statements yesterday, President Trump took a step backward by again suggesting there is a moral equivalency between the white supremacist, neo-Nazi and KKK members who attended the Charlottesville rally and people like Ms. Heyer, the South Carolina Republican said, I, along with so many others, do not endorse this moral equivalency. Saturday's protests in Charlottesville quickly turned violent, with skirmishes immediately breaking out between the white nationalist groups and crowds protesting the event, which claimed the lives of Heather Heyer and a pair of state troopers. Heyer was killed when James Alex Fields Jr. allegedly drove through hordes of people standing against the neo-Nazis and other racist organizations at the event. The president faced extreme backlash in wake of the violent event, first for remaining silent and then for a bizarre press conference Tuesday in which he said the savagery came from both sides. 